This institution has attracted brilliant scientific minds, actively assisted in space expeditions, and is vigorously training the next generation of space scientists. This school is aware that along the way, there will be setbacks, there will be failures, and there will be some doubt. But they are also sure that to be more effective and efficient in their endeavors, that will come in part because that technology and the faculty, staff, and students now have this kind of facility at their fingertips. The university decided to not only challenge their students, but to challenge itself, and they are to be commended for doing so. To help make this mission a successful one, I am pleased to announce today that I have approved a $750,000 Appalachian Regional Commission grant for the university to purchase new equipment for this Space Science Center. Thank you. You know, moments like today are why I have consistently fought to protect all levels of education from the devastating cuts that we've had to undergo, including a budget proposal that we're going to be looking at next week. The recession has affected us all in a lot of ways, but the Commonwealth of Kentucky has preserved education to the greatest extent possible. You know, usually we find ourselves in Kentucky, at least in the past, having to say from time to time, thank God for Mississippi. Well, I'm, I'm glad to report to you that even in these tough economic times, and as tough as our situation is in Kentucky from an economic standpoint, we are a lot better off than the vast majority of states in this country. So we today can say, thank God for Michigan, California, New York, Pennsylvania, and on and on and on. Because under the leadership of folks like Rocky Adkins, John Will Stacy, Walter Blevins, and others in the legislature, working with me and working with my predecessor, we have navigated through these waters, I think, in a pretty good way. And we have set some standards, we have set some priorities. And those priorities are the education of our kids, both K through 12 and higher education. It's providing health care to the most vulnerable of our citizens, those that can't afford to take care of themselves. It's providing public safety for our people, both in their homes and out on the streets. And it's in concentrating on economic development, creating jobs for our people, because after all, the way we will come through this recession, the way we will be able to grab hold of the opportunities that are going to be out there is by continuing to concentrate on retaining and creating jobs for Kentuckians. Those are my priorities, those are their priorities. I think those are the priorities of the vast majority of Kentuckians. And I'm happy to say that the proposal that we have that's going to be considered to balance next year's budget does not cut education, it does not cut higher education because folks, that is the number one priority for all of us. We've been working to continue to attract new businesses, new ventures that will help our state and our economy transition to one that is prepared for the 21st century challenges. And we've worked, as I said, to keep the citizens of this state healthy and safe. So although the last few months have been strenuous and there's been a lot of turmoil that we've all experienced, there will come a day there will come a day when this economy is going to turn around. We all know that. We don't know exactly the timing, but it is going to happen. And when it does, because of the way we are bringing our folks through this, we're going to be positioned to take advantage of every opportunity that's out there because we've resolved short-term goals. And by that short-term goal, that means getting our folks and getting our businesses through this tough time, but also a long-term goal making the kinds of strategic investments in places like this 
that it takes for us to take advantage of those opportunities when they start coming around again. I'm certain that we're going to see a lot more days like today and like what we're doing today than most other states right now. And I'm counting on that. You know, mankind has always longed for the knowledge locked away in distant spheres of gas and plasma. Now with the fresh and eager eyes of space scientists and space students right here at Moorhead State University, Kentuckians will help unravel some of those space mysteries. I want to congratulate President Andrews, another president that is here, right up here, President Eaglin, all of the faculty here, all of the folks that helped put this together. I want to congratulate the Kentucky uh, Science and, and uh, Technology Corporation. Chris Kimmel is here. Chris, I'd like for you to stand up and be recognized. This effort is a joint effort among many people, including Chris's corporation. And look where we are today because of this. Next year, as I understand it, Kentucky's going to put a satellite into space. And the control room that's going to be tracking that satellite is going to be right here. It's not going to be in western Kentucky or central Kentucky. It's going to be right here at Moorhead State University. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing that our students are going to have those kinds of opportunities? Think of what that's going to do for future instruction in science and technology and mathematics. And that's where it is, folks. We've got to encourage that kind of learning in the future. And this is going to help us do this. I am proud of your effort, and I'm looking forward to next year and many years in the future as Moorhead State University continues on its path to bring the right kind of education to the folks of Kentucky. Thank you all very much and congratulations. <laughs>